this is Lolita's group of kittens and they couldn't be more different. It's quite awesome. So here is a regular Lynx girl, Sugar. You can see her rosettes pretty well. And you could tell she's a regular Lynx because she doesn't have the melanistic coloring. This one's melanistic. You can tell because the whole nose is blacked out. And as this kitten gets older, the rest of the face is gonna black out and this kitten is gonna look like a Siamese. So the ears are gonna get blacker. It's gonna be completely black as this kitten develops. And the rosettes you don't see so much right now, but you will definitely see more of those rosettes as this kitten develops and gets older. Um, but it is gonna look like a, a Siamese exactly like a Siamese, but the Bengal version. So this whole tail is going to become black and everything. So you can see the differences between the regular Lynx with a little bit of a black nose, and you can still see the pink, the pink there. The ears are just only a tiny dark, but that's it, versus these ears, which are going to get darker, darker, darker. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. It's like we took this black melanistic panther kitten and sort of just rubbed it all over, like here, here, <laughs> here. And so it's like this plus this equals that. Don't you love math? Anyway, so this here is what I like to call mini panther, also known as a black bangle, also known as a melanistic. But the reason why I call mini panthers is because that's exactly genetically what a panther is. Like this kitten's got the exact same genetics. So still has the rosettes, although as the kitten gets older, you only see the rosettes in certain lighting. Um, so I love putting this one and this one together. This is like night and that's light. One of the night, one of the light. My little night light or ying and yang. And then here's the brown girl ginger who looks just like mommy and looks just like Dutch from the last litter. So let's go through, these guys are sleeping. I'm like, I don't wanna wake you, but here you go. And there's that pattern, look at that, that's so beautiful. Really wild type pattern for sure. You can see the back, you can see all the rosettes, it's broken up. And here's this other side here. Look at that pattern. Just really relaxed, laid back kitten. All right, I'll let you go sleep. Here you go, you can go sleep. And you can't really see the pattern on Lily too well, not, at least not right now. And you can see the pattern on Sugar. See, look, all those rosettes right there in certain lighting. I know, Lily, I'm sorry, Sugar. You can see the pattern. A little fuzzball. There's the pattern. All right, I'll let you go sleep. There you go, comfy sleep. And then here is Raven. It's black as a raven. You can still see the rosettes. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'll have to tell you, these guys have gotten super popular recently. See, again, you can see all those rosettes. There you go. You can go back to sleep. I'm gonna go to sleep here. But I just, <laughs> it's hilarious how they're splayed out like this plus this equals this. And they all sleep the same way too, like blomp, blomp. I know you wanna see a video of kittens playing around and being cuddly and just having a grand time, not sleeping ones. But I don't determine their schedule, they determine their schedule. I'll see if I can get some videos of them later tonight. You know, traditionally speaking, they do sleep in the middle of the day, in the middle of the night, and they're the most active at dusk and dawn. Who knows? We got more lighting all of a sudden.